Welcome back to Johnny Reads. Today's video is about something that I never, never do, but recently um, I had a friend come over and the first thing that she did, um, she started looking at all my books and I'm going to be honest with you, they're kind of everywhere right now. Um, the first thing she did was she started looking at all my books and randomly just decided to select my copy of 12 Boys I've Loved Before. And so I decided to let her go ahead and take it to read it. But this is going to be about why you should not ever lend out your books. And so the very first reason that I have in terms of not lending out my books, number one is cracked spines. Oh my God. How many books have you ever lent out? And then somehow or another, it's like the person read them about 50 times and the spine is all out of whack. So me personally, I only have about maybe probably less than 10 books where the, the spines are really, really cracked from like really a ton of reading and a ton of use. Um, mostly because I bought those, I bought all of those online at one time used and then the condition online said one thing and when I got them, they were definitely not. And so that has nothing to do with lending books, but I hate, hate, hate cracked spines. So much so that I've actually bought replacement books even when I wasn't going to read them um, because I just hate the way they look. And I, I even have the titles in my head of the ones that have really, really cracked spines and that are just really ugly and I hate them. And I feel like whenever you're lending out your books, that's something that's going to happen because first off, if it's a paperback, if they wrap the cover all the way around, like I know some people do that, oh my God, you might as well just rip the book apart. I can't handle that. <laughs> and so obviously with um, hardcover is a little bit different, but cracked spines are the absolute worst and they are my worst nightmare in terms of my books. The second reason that I have for never letting out my books, dog ear pages. Oh my goodness. So every once in a while, as you should know already, I, I buy all my books at half price. So they're all used most of the time. Every once in a while, I'll buy some new ones. But they're mostly used. And so sometimes I'll get a book. I'm like, oh, it's really good condition. The cover's okay. The spine's okay. Blah, blah, blah. No, no markings or whatever. And then when I actually get to the point of reading it, whether that's a week later, a month later, heck, it could be a year or two later, I actually realize a ton of pages in the book were dog-eared by the person, the previous owner or owners, and I, oh, I hate it. Now, usually by that point, if they've already been kind of unfolded the pages, then it's not too bad, but I hate dog-eared pages. Like, first off, I don't use bookmarks. Like, I read in a way that I know where I leave off, but I never dog-ear my pages, and why would anybody do that? And so that's, that's really the second reason why I really just do not lend out my books, because I don't want anybody dog ear my pages. And the third reason, and there's about a hundred million of them, but I'm only gonna talk about three, the, the first two that came to mind when I thought of doing this video. The third reason is dust jackets. So when you get a nice hardcover book, if you buy it, if you buy it new, whether it's half price, Barnes and Noble, Amazon, whatever, it's in such nice pristine condition. It's like, it's like a new car or like a new pair of shoes or something. It's like so nice. The dust jacket's nice and shiny and you're like, ah, oh, this is, this is so nice. But, from people who just don't, I, I don't really know what people do when they're reading. Um, for me, when I'm reading, I'm literally lying under my blanket on the couch, just reading and doing nothing else. There's no, my phone's there, of course, but my TV's not on. I'm not doing anything else. I'm not texting. I'm not doing anything. But somehow or another, I don't understand, but dust jackets seem to get really, really worn out. Now, me personally, when I'm reading a hardcover, I don't take my dust jacket off um, because I take care of the book, so I'm, I'm not really worried about it. But it's like, what are these other people doing when they're reading? And these dust jackets get all kinds of messed up. So I have one book that I bought uh, a couple of years ago. And the dust jacket on the very front of it was just torn right up the, the front of the book. And the reason I got it, it was like 50% off. And now it's 50% off the half price price. So it was really, really cheap. And I was like, well, for once, I'll make an exception. I don't like when dust jackets are, are damaged. Of course, who does? But it just seems like some people have various degrees of taking care of their books. I feel like I'm really, really super, really, really high on that scale and there's a lot of people who are kind of not so high. And the other reason, so I said three reasons, but I do want to talk about one more, is you do not know when you're going to get the book back. So the my friend of mine who came over and, and took my book, I think she's had it for three weeks now. And I will say, I told her this past week that 
I want my book back <laughs> because it's mine. I want to put it on the shelf and that's it. And she's not even reading it. She told, when I told her, she was like, oh yeah, it's in my car. Like, what? <laughs> and you don't know who's been in the car. You don't know what they've been doing. So it's like, you just, don't, you really don't know when you're going to get it back. And for me, I want my books where I know where they are nicely on my shelf behind me, as you can see. So that's all I have for you today. Really, really short, quick, kind of fun video. But what are the reasons that you have for not lending out your books? Or on the other hand, if you somebody who lends out all of your books, so whoever wants them, why do you do that as well? Once again, I have been being really good and I've been doing videos every week now. And you can, of course, subscribe. I'll see you next time.